Okay, so welcome back to this course. So on this video, you have to display all the products in the database and also I have to display total amount of products in this box. Okay. So first of all, you have to go back to my VS Code. And let's actually close this one, this one, and this one. I simply first of all go to my backend because I have to create a new route. So controller, product controller. And let's actually put in here. Let's copy this one. So copy basic here because in this case I only need uh, let's remove this one this one also put it here cons products is equal to product dot find okay and then I will simply just draw JSON pass in here the products only and that is get add with products okay so get all products that is for admin slash api slash v1 slash admin slash products okay simply save it go back to the route and close this one route product and I simply duplicate this one so that is route slash admin slash products and then the get admin products simply copy this one and import that also like this simply save it and put a comma simply save it and that's it simply close the back end go to the front end and then in the front end i go to the oops constants product constants and let's copy these three so control c and let's put that or i copy these ones control c put that here and that is admin products so control D this all that is admin products request and all of all of this. So we save it, close the constraints file, go to the reducer, product reducer. Let's actually duplicate these. So control C put them here. That is um admin products and I'm going to put them in the same here so control C V admin products request right and then for the admin product success I simply define here case admin products success I simply have to return uh, loading to false and then the products is equal to the action dot payload all right and then for the fail that is same that is admin products fail simply save it close this one go to the actions actions product actions and let's actually duplicate these that is admin simply save it and I simply go to the bottom and let's actually copy this one so control C and let's put that right here so cons get admin products and we have to pass here nothing dispatch here the admin or simply select this all that is admin products then slash api slash v1 slash admin 
slash products and that will be data dot products and simply save it close this one and now let's create here a component uh, in the admin file that is called products list dot js RACFE to create the basic markup and what I do is I simply go to my let's go to the order and list order and let's actually copy the code from here to save some time so we have to import the fragment use effect link empty data table metadata loader use alert this one I also have to bring in import get admin products and then the clear errors from product slash slash action slash the uh, product actions all right and then after that I simply have to bring in the history okay and for the list orders I simply copy this whole stuff from here and also this one so control C put that right here and let's actually change the data so use alert your dispatch we have to bring in the loading error and the products from state dot products and then it's also in the use effect I have to type here get admin products if error display the error alert error okay so after the this one as let up here set set products first of all the ID then the name then the price okay and then let's put in here the stock okay and then the actions right and we don't need here the sending order basically save it and then here this is the uh, products dot for each let's now replace the product everywhere product so first of all product dot id then we have the name so product dot name then we have the price as we put in here product dot price and then we have here the stock that is product dot stock okay and then in the actions I have the added button and the delete button so I simply type here slash product first of all the edit button slash admin slash product and then the product dot id and the class name is btn primary let's also type here padding y of 1 and padding x of 2 and then the i tag that is fa fa pencil that will display the edit sign so pencil and then let's actually create here a button so we save this one create here button with the class btn dot btn dash danger and then padding y of 1 then padding x of 2 then margin left of 2 okay you can definitely design about your requirements so that is oh we have to wrap this inside the fragment or the empty brackets so simply cut it from here 
Oops. Cut and paste that here. So, let's save it. Now, on the button, I have to simply display here this icon. So, that is trash. So, FAFA trash. Alright. And then after that, we simply return the data, the fragment. And then div dot row then div dot column of 12 dot column medium of 2 that I put here sidebar that I have to import it and then after that I simply put here div div column of 12 dot column dash md dash 10 okay and I need that I simply put here the fragment and the fragment let's put in here the h1 with the class of margin y of 5 and the it is all products h1 all right and then I simply put in here that If it is loading, then display the loader else and the fragment I simply put here. Uh, the metadata so metadata you can also put the metadata right here title is going to be uh, all products and then in that I actually don't need this Simply put in here the MDP data table that is this one. Simply copy this one, control C, go back, put that here that is set products. Okay, so we save it. I think so. Then everything is done. So I simply go back to my close this one. Also, have to bring in the sidebar. So let's import the sidebar from dot slash sidebar save it and let's go to the app.js duplicate this one slash admin slash products examine is true and the component is the product list okay I'm gonna import this import product list from this one so we have a cannot resolve dot slash components that is product list that is products list okay so we save it and now if I go back and go to the page and we've got the products all cannot read property data of undefined. So if I simply go to my inspector, check it out in the Redux. Uh, so admin request for the success here. We have the products here. In the products, we have the oh that is product. Actually, it is going to be products basically. So, what I do is I simply go back. Let's go to the producer, product producer, and that is products. So, we save it. And now, if I go back, we got the page. You will see here I got all the products. Okay. So these are the IDs, name, price, 
is stock this is out of stock this is out of stock the edit button and the delete button all right so that's it we are successfully displayed all our products now let's display the number of products in here okay simply so go back in the close this one this one and go to dashboard and that i simply have to bring in this one Control c put that here i bring in the get admin products and then i have to also bring in the dispatch and use selector so let's bring in these And then we have to use a const, const dispatch, equal to use dispatch. And let's bring in const products equals to use selector from state dot products. Okay. And then I simply have to also use here use effect. So use effect. I simply display a uh, dispatch here. Dispatch get admin products. Okay. And then let's also put it here in the dispatch. Right. And let's actually go back and display here the products. So I simply type here products exist, then products dot length. So I simply save it go back to the page you will see here uh, we have nine products all right so i also have displayed in out of stock products so i simply go back and let's after here i simply type that let out of stock equals to zero and then i simply products dot for each product I simply have to if product oops product dot stock is equal to zero this that it is out of stock so count of oh sorry out of stock plus is equal to one all right and I simply display this out of stock control C and I display it right here so I save it go back and if i reload the page you will see here i have two out of stock products and if i go to all products you will see here i have this one and this is the two so we have successfully displayed the products and the out of stock products we only have to display here the orders users and total amount that will be definitely display in our next videos so now we are done with our all products in my next video i want to display here uh actually i have to create uh the product okay so i will create my product in my next video